Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages that we can get from the cards here? I feel really inclined to just pick as many cards as possible. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do rather than just pick a couple cards and focus on them. Um, we got the sickle. Okay, I actually don't know what this means, so I'm gonna go ahead and look it up, but I feel like the number 10 could be relevant, okay? Um, yeah. I'm also seeing like Knight of Pentacles, maybe Earth sign energy. Someone could have Earth sign placements. Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what this means, okay? Uh, yeah, we got here the Stickle. Um, danger, breakup, separation, okay? Yeah, I do feel like, you know, something came to an end here, you guys. There was um, maybe some sort of rejection or cutting ties or you walked away or they walked away or like it was kind of all of a sudden. And like, I, I do feel like um, the person is feeling like the pangs from the separation, the pangs of pain from the separation. Don't think that they're just having you know the time of their life they're just having a good time you guys they deeply miss you okay they really do like miss you more than you know and maybe you're just like oh my gosh like uh, how like you know maybe you feel like this like limerence or something but if you feel like limerence you guys they're probably also feeling that way as well like, my point is like you know this connection did mean a lot to them even if you didn't talk that much or communicate that much i do feel like you know they would fantasize about you a lot you know i feel like maybe you kept in touch through social media and you had some sort of social media relationship going on even if it was just like you know a parasocial relationship where they were kind of just like watching you but i am definitely seeing you guys um this person it's it's hurting them it's paining them to not be with you okay um yeah we got the rider that's why i do see them you guys coming forward i'm seeing something to do with the white horse that could be relevant or a mustang or like you know something to do with horses could be relevant um but i am definitely seeing you know this says news messages um yeah lover young renew return movement change okay um news coming in short order or a person of significance so you guys i do feel like this person is definitely going to be coming back okay i feel like you know um even if you were the one that rejected them they're going to find some way to come back because like they just like they can't like they're kind of obsessed with you they're just like oh my gosh i have to come back i have to try again okay we also got here the clock tower yeah i feel something i, I kept getting um I got like the phrase time is ticking like you know I feel like that's what this person is kind of like you know um thinking like time is ticking if I don't act fast this person could like you know be lost forever and I have to at least try I feel like this person regrets not coming forward before um okay but I do feel like they have had some sort of enlightenment during the separation this also says standards alienation okay um protection structure like this is what it says you guys I feel like you're kind of in this place in your life right now where you maybe um are kind of like not alienating yourself Alexa stop oh my gosh wow dang not necessarily like alienating yourself but like you know kind of just um detaching yourself from certain things maybe you're being really careful on social media about who you give your energy to maybe you've muted a lot of people maybe you've like cut off people's access to you I feel like you know um during this separation you guys uh this is objectivity enlightenment standards i feel like this person is gaining some standards i feel like you you, you kind of like wish they had standards and you know didn't do whatever they did because if they did have standards they wouldn't have done that they would have just you know pursued you and like you know that's how it should have been right but i do feel like this person is having some kind of like you know mindset shift mindset change here okay this also says like institution structure protection i feel like you know there is like some things like crumbling I, I this reminds me of like you know the tower moment like there's some sort of tower moment going on so that you know um things could crumble so better things can come in so it can build a newer stronger better fa foundation okay so that is definitely something that i'm seeing here i, I do feel like you know this person you know they want to be all about you they don't want to give other people their attention and energy like they're even realizing like you know um at the end of the day like they really miss not having you in their life and it's like really hitting them and you know i i feel like at some point they're going to come in and they're going to be like you know i will do whatever it takes to like you know be with you to make things right with you okay so yeah we also got here the reunion you guys it's like we literally got two cards that hit to reunion okay soul recognition collaboration you guys i feel like your person is recognizing this you know the depth of this connection how deep this connection truly is we also got here the six of wands i wasn't even gonna pick that until later but it just like fell out of the deck um but yeah you guys your person is realizing just how deep this connection goes i feel like you know they're recognizing your soul they're realizing that like you know the both of you did actually love each other in past lifetimes plural and that you know they have to come forward and you know really pursue you really pursue this connection here yeah we also got here sophia divine plan wisdom intelligence within depth and you guys there is some sort of divine plan at play that is um making this person come towards you and I, that's nothing but like just you know a reflection of your subconscious mind okay so if you are consciously manifesting this person i really do feel like you know um it's working and like you know the timing is it's happening like it's happening in a way you guys where this person will come back better than ever before like it, it's gonna happen you know this is like intelligence within there is some sort of intelligence at play here that's gonna bring this person 
back exactly the way you want them to be back but it also does require a little bit of like intelligence on your part in terms of thoughts and what thoughts you're you know giving attention to what thoughts you're validating and what thoughts like you know you just no, don't need to have and you know shouldn't have right so um, i'm definitely seeing like you know you're tapping into that intelligence within and you guys you have to understand nothing is impossible nothing is out of reach it doesn't matter like you know um if like you think your standards are too high like actually the tower says standards and you know um foundation and like you know like structure like you know you this should be based off of like a very strong foundation and structure and mutual respect okay like that is what this person wants with you that is per what this person you know aims to like you know um th that's what they're striving for with you they want to make you happy they want to make you feel safe and secure you deserve to feel safe and secure they want you to be the only one that like you know um they give their attention to okay like I, you guys trust when i say no, no matter what's happening like this person really does like you a lot like they do care about you a lot maybe you feel like oh their attention went elsewhere that's not true at all okay like yeah know they could you know be around certain people but like they don't feel for those other people the way that you know they feel for you okay if anything like you know the reason why a lot of them are single and things aren't working out is because they're so stuck on you they're stuck on your energy we also got here the bud potential promise it's about to happen keep going this, this makes me so happy i got so excited what the heck okay sorry uh, oh my gosh yeah okay potential promise it's about to happen keep freaking going you guys if you are manifesting this person you are so close you are so close to manifesting that desirable version version of them that will do whatever it takes to be with you that's going to completely respect you guys i can like literally hear this person coming back and i can like feel this person's energy coming back in and telling you like hey i will do whatever it takes to make you feel safe and secure um and it's you know i feel like for a lot of you maybe you feel like you're asking for too much but they're gonna be like no i love you so much this is like nothing like you know if you want like, like, i'll just give you one example if you want them to like delete people off social media which happens all the freaking time by the way you know they'll be like yeah no problem i will do that okay um if it makes you like uncomfortable that you know they're following someone or like talking to someone or something like my point is you guys like this person does have a lot of love for you and i i feel like you know um when someone really loves you like they will do whatever it takes to be with you and i, I really feel like you know the love is building up because you know i i feel like they feel really bad that they took you for granted that you know this was brewing into something beautiful this was blossoming into something beautiful but then they did something to kind of just like you know cut it off and like you know you were really upset at like what they did and you're just like wow like you know that's like you know you, you've been like kind of pissed at them a little bit like maybe they were still giving you attention and energy but you felt like you know they were also giving other people attention and energy and you're like wait that's not fair like that's kind of weird that feels kind of icky or something like that okay so um i, I definitely feel like you know they're not going to do that time and if you are worried about third party this is a sign that you really don't need to be your person's going to be all about you and you know I'm seeing like, you know, you're gonna have a talk about like healthy boundaries, okay? I feel like, you know, um, this person really does want to respect your boundaries and you know, you also have, you also want to respect their boundaries. It's not like, you know, a lot of you are controlling, you just want like, you know, the bare minimum of respect. Like for a lot of you, you know, you know how to be in a relationship. You know how respectful and real and loyal you are in relationships. You know where your boundaries lie. Like, you know, it, nothing wrong with having friends of like, you know, whatever gender, you know, even the gender you're attracted to, but like, you know where your boundaries lie. You don't get like overly flirtatious and things like that. You know how you are and you're just like okay well what, what's wrong in wanting my person to be the way that i am you know there's nothing wrong with that um it's it's not wrong for you to look for you and other people but you know with the power of manifestation you can actually manifest that you know it's easy for you to find you and other people that people you know have the same standards and everything that you have okay um, yeah, also, you know, there is a self-concept challenge going on on my Patreon. I don't know if I already said that in this video or if it was another video, but yeah, if you want to be part of a like-minded group and, you know, use the collective's power to manifest and uh, amplify and accelerate your own manifestations, as well as, you know, partake a self-concept challenge, check out the link in the description box below where you can join the Patreon, okay? And yeah, um, I will go ahead and another reading right here. Actually, no, I do wanna go ahead and pick some Love Oracle cards to see what other messages we have. Yeah, we got, you are irreplaceable. There's no one in the world like you. Guys, this person's attention and energy is not going anywhere, even when they come back. And I'm like, out of all the readings I've done today, you guys, like this is like one of the best readings ever. They are coming back. Like you cannot stop them. Like they are definitely gonna be texting you, okay? We also got, please don't give up on me. I'm healing myself. Again, like no one holds a candle to you. I feel like for a lot of you, maybe you have some abandonment issues or fears that this person's going to leave or not give you as much attention or, you know, they're going to be underhanded or deceited. Like, this person's really not like that, okay? I feel like maybe you could have experienced one version of them, but there in exists infinite versions of them. And definitely there is one version that doesn't act like that and many versions that doesn't act like, you know, that, you know, don't act like that, right? So, um, all, yeah, all you got to do is focus on self-love, self-concept, and boom, you'll have this relationship, you know, blossoming before you even know it. So, yeah, anyways, I will go ahead and end the reading right here. I really hope this helps. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free your reality, and yeah, um, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Love and light.